Hello, welcome back again to Kaima's Kitchen. My name is Joy Ibezi, your host. Yes. So, what are we making today? As you can already see, we have our already parboiled basmati rice, our finely chopped vegetable, our liver, finely chopped onion. So, I know you can guess, we're going to be making coconut fried rice, the Kaima way. The reason why I'm saying the Kaima because we're using the products from Kaima Food Mart. So, we have our chopped veggies, we have our chopped onion, we have our liver, our Kaima Food Mart fried rice spice, our extracted coconut juice, 100% coconut juice, no preservative, our seasoning cubes, our salt, Kaima Food Mart pepper puree. So guys, as usual, we have a taster. But before we dive in, are you a returning subscriber? We want to tell you that we thank you so, so, so much. If you're just new to our channel, please subscribe to our, our channel. What we do here, we cook using the Kaima Food Mat product. So we we'll bring in cooks, chef, you know, to show us how to cook. So let's get cooking. So I have my chicken stock already building up in the pots. So that's my chicken stock. So I did this behind the camera. So this is my chicken stock. Of course, our chicken is, you know, spice stock with our seven spice. So this is it. So I'm going to start by adding, let me build up like more liquid. So this is the Kaima food mat coconut. So this was extracted by Kaima food mat. Like I said, it's 100% organic. So all you have to do is just place your order from Kaima Food Mart and we have your coconut extracted for you. You don't need to buy the powders and you know, those preserved coconut um, milk. Kaima Food Mart can actually send your way a fully organic, no preservative coconut. So I'm going to allow that to heat up until you start seeing the bubbles, then I'll just cover the pot and allow this to heat up for a while. My meat stock and my coconut milk have been boiling for a while. So I'm going to be adding some of the Kaima food my pepper puree. Like I'd always say with pepper, it honestly just depends on what you can tolerate. You don't have to do what I'm doing. If you don't want pepper, it's fine. You know, I'm just a lover of pepper, but I'm going to put in that much because I don't know, this taste might just not be a pepper person. So I'm not cooking them, not cooking for my house. So I'll just, you know. So with that, I'll just give that a beautiful stir. Can you see how milky our stock is becoming? It's becoming this milk because of the coconut milk. So I'm going to go ahead and add my seasoning. I'm going to be adding some seasoning cubes. Those are like cubes, so I already mashed. So add the, then I'm going to be adding a bit of salt. Like I would always say, go very easy on salt. Except you taste and feel like you need extras. But if you don't, just go very easy on salt. Then I'll give it again on another beautiful stir. At this point, I'm going to be pouring in my already parboiled basmati rice. I'm going to allow that to cook. Then I'll come back and show you how I make my fried rice, the Kaima way, like I said earlier. So this is basmati rice. You can actually use any rice of your choice, but for fried rice, I always prefer to use basmati rice, but it's on, totally optional and it's not compulsory and it's not recommended except you want to use it. So, I'm going to pour that into the pot and give that a step. So as you can see, there's enough liquid in my pot. So I'm not going to be adding like extra liquid. So what I have here is my chicken stock, my coconut milk. That is all I have in this pot. So I'm going to just allow this to cook my rice to the point I feel it's okay for me to start frying. So, my coconut fried rice has been cooking. So, I actually just want to check and see what we have. Okay, can you see the steam? Can you see that steam? So, yeah, 
so this is what we have so this here is the coconut milk my chicken stock so now i'm going to take that down from the stove and i'm going to start frying i'm going to fry in bits so i'll take that out so i'm going to start frying so i'm going to be adding some vegetable oil so you can use any good vegetable oil of the choice just don't have to anyone that you like there are lots of them out there you can use olive oil whatever you want to use you know and if you don't you want to use just you know tell me i will recommend one but i won't say it on camera <laughs> so but yeah so we're going to allow that to heat for like a minute or less than that actually as as it's pretty direct in nigeria we'll cook as it's pretty direct so <laughs> i just like there <laughs> as it's pretty direct so i'm going to be adding some chopped onion because i'm going to be cooking in bits so i'm going to be taking the ingredients like little by little so so put that in there and stir we're trying to get like a golden brown onion So while that is stirring, I'm going to be adding some of my liver. So like I said before, this for me is actually optional, but you know, growing up, knowing fried rice, fried rice was always made with liver. So that is where I'm getting this whole recipe from. But honestly, it's optional. Some people use sausage, some people use chicken. So whatever you want to use, if you, some people even make it plain. So it's entirely up to you. So I'm using liver. I cook this um, behind the camera. So I'll just add some liver. So for those of you that might want to know, this is cow liver. So I'm going to be adding some of my veggies. Our color is actually building up. That is the beautiful thing about fried rice. Fried rice is about the color. Um, if I actually start taking fried rice, I'm always very, very, you know, the color for me is just really what makes it fried, nothing else. So at this point, I'm going to be adding a very important part of this dish, the Kaima food mat, fried rice spice. At the end of this video, if you want that same color, this is what you need this particular spice this is it so i'm going to be adding that like i always say all our spices are sealed so you buy if it's not sealed it's not from kaima food mart it needs to be sealed so you open when you buy so i'm going to be adding so make sure you stir in properly so that all the spices because i actually want the entire fried rice to be one particular color i don't want some of them to be a different color from the other so i'm going to take my time and stir so this is the kaima food mat coconut fried rice using the kaima food mat fried rice spice so yeah so this is what you have here. This is our fried rice. So like I said, if you want to get this exact color, you have to buy the Kaima Food Mart fried rice spice. This is what the Kaima Food Mart fried rice spice does for you. It gives you that beautiful, beautiful color. So you can only get this if you're using the Kaima Food Mart fried rice spice. So, so I'm going to be turning off the heat and our taster will be coming on to try this food I'll be giving you their honest opinion not influenced by the kaima brand just their honest opinion we're done cooking our coconut fried rice using the kaima food mat fried rice spice yes that's what we do here we don't use other people's products mm -mm. we use our own products so of course we are done cooking i can see this beautiful plate 
I know you'll be wondering, but yeah, it's coconut fried rice, so of course we'll have organic with coconuts, you know, cabbage, you know, food is out, right? So yeah, so that's what we do here as well, we'll teach you. If you want to learn, just look my YouTube channel, let me not talk too much. Of course we'll have a taster, I told you already, we're going to have someone tasting this beautiful delicacy in front of her. Deborah is in the Kaima's kitchen. So let's welcome for the very first time, Deborah to the Kaima's kitchen. So Miss Deborah, welcome to the Kaima's kitchen. Thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. And I want to taste this wonderful goodness made from Kaima's kitchen. Thank you. We appreciate you coming. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for supporting the Kaima's team. I see you holding your spoon. So like, you can't wait to dive in. I know. Yes, like, calm down, calm down, calm down. Don't be in a hurry. It's your food. No one is chasing you. But first and foremost, why did you want to come to the Kaima's kitchen? Tell me. Our viewers want to know. Our viewers want to know. Why? Did you feel the need to want to be in the climate station today? Thank you so much. I have been seeing your beautiful post online and I decided to come and have a taste for myself to see how it really tastes. Okay, people say food is art. Today, we have fried rice. Coconut fried rice. I know this is not normally what you're used to. You're used to the normal plating and you just start dipping in your spoon. Yes. Yeah, so this is art right in front of you. So what is your take with the food, the artwork that went in be behind this plating? So I want you to taste and talk to our viewers, your honest opinion. Remember we use the Kaima food mat spice. So it's for you to tell them what you think about the spice. Do you like it? Is there a taste? Is it different from the regular fried that you've eaten? What makes it different? You know, just talk to our YouTubers and tell them exactly what you feel and what your taste buds is saying and what your head is telling you concerning this beautiful plate in front of you. Let me do this one more time. Miss Deborah, dive in. Thank you. I I love what I'm saying. First of all, like the the arrangements, the art, and I just can't wait to have a taste. Yeah, we can't wait for you to taste as well. So let's go right in. Please do. Uh, let me let me taste. No, please taste. It's just pour it. You know, here is local food. Just that you know, we're trying to customize our local food. Like. Wait. So there's no. The only ingredient here is from Kayama's kitchen, right? Yes. The only ingredient here is Kayama's food mat. So our spice using the Kaima's kitchen. That's all we have here. Of course, we have basmati rice, but you know, the key ingredient is actually our spice. I love... This food is delicious. Yeah. I love the taste. I love... I love the texture. I love... It's feeling, it's satisfying, like... Let me taste it. You like it. Okay, eating. Guys, while she's eating, let me plead again. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel support us like we need your support click that bell there you know subscribe follow us on our instagram page follow us on our tiktok yes we cook using our products we also perform art like you can see this is fried rice who would have thought that fried rice would be treated like this i didn't think so but we did it so you know these are the things you're going to learn if you're a subscriber on the youtube channel and if you love to cook if you cook you're a chef you want to partner with us it's free and of course, if you want to eat free food, this is the place. Here we eat too. Cameras are eating. Everybody, everybody, everybody is eating in this in this set. That's why you just food. Food is flying around. So of course you don't pay for it. So just get hungry, pour yourself over the night, then come here, just come eat, you know. So that's what we do here. So let's allow our taster to continue tasting. And I'll just stop talking. And at this point, the taster can just because I'm actually hungry. I need to go eat my own behind the camera. So guys. Thank you for supporting the brand. From me, my team, we love you guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Kaima's Kitchen.